to lead this webinar will be Ma'am Harisa. Ma'am Harisa, please take your time to lead this uh, seminar so we can start uh, this webinar for all the participants. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Mr. Fajar. Okay, good afternoon all. Okay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah. Good How are you all? I hope all of you are doing fine, staying healthy. And then today we will have an international webinar, Universitas Budidharma Taran, Indonesia. With the speaker is Mr. Masaru Yamamoto. Uh, Mr. Masaru Yamamoto is General Manager and Director PT T Mike Asia Indonesia. This is the Toshiba Mitsubishi Electrical Electric Industrial Corporation. And then before that, uh, I would like to have the opening speech from Rectorat. Please welcome Dr. Lima Jatini. Welcome, Doctor. Okay. Thank you, Mem Harisa. Thank you. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Namo budaya. Shalom. Om swastiastu. Good wishes and best wishes to all of us. The admirable guest speaker of today international webinar, Mr. Masaru Yamamoto from Hi. yeah from TM TM EIC Asia Indonesia. Thank you for your time and thank you for your willingness to be a speaker in this webinar. Uh, the Honorable Dean of the Faculty of Science and Technology, uh, Dr. Amin, and the Head of Electrical Engineering Study Program, uh, Pak Fajar, and all the Head of Program Study and Lecturer. Thank you everyone from across Indonesia for coming to this uh, international webinar. On behalf of Rector Budidharma University, I wish you all a good uh, afternoon and good health. Yeah. First, we are grateful for God, for his blessing. We are able to gather here with our well-being to attend this international webinar. This webinar is Budidharma University International Series. Ladies and gentlemen, in this webinar, Mr. Masaru Yamamoto will explain the fundamental of motor control in industry. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this webinar is an active contribution of Bodhidharma University to support the development of science and technology that has been rapidly advancing to better the human life. Once again, let us big thanks to Mr. Masaru Yamamoto. I wish you always a good health and well-being. I also give me my thanks to Mr. Amin Suyitno as the Dean of Science and Technology mm -hmm. Faculty, Mr. Fajar, the Head of Electrical Engineering Study Program, Ms. Harisa as the moderator, and all the entire webinar committee and all attendants, you all make this webinar possible and success. Lastly, please enjoy today's webinar. I hope the knowledge uh, being shared today is able to help the advancement of science. Good afternoon and thank you everyone. Okay. Thank you, thank you Dr. Lima Jatini for your speech, opening speech. And then also, uh, after that, we would like to have the speech from the Dean of Faculty of Science and Technology, Dr. Engineer Amin Suyitno, Master Engineer. Please welcome Dr. Amin Suyitno. Okay, thank you, Ma'am uh, Harissa. Thank time. you. And also, uh, uh, Yamamoto-san, uh, Ibu Ibu Titi, di Majat ini, and everybody, also uh, all the all friends. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, especially thank you, dear participants, and good afternoon. Uh, many thanks to everyone who attended 
our fourth international webinar series, uh, including overseas particip participants if they are attended. We know that the prime over an industrial process is the electric motor, especially in industry and involve of a lot of moving rollers or conveyor. The system is also inseparable from the rule of the control system so that it can move simultaneously and under control. On this occasion, we very fortunate to have guests who will discuss and explain the basics of motor control in the industry. I know, I know for a fact that he is, he is highly highly skilled and expert in this area of motor control, and has been working in this field for many many years and indicates both in design and troubleshooting. We hope that the topics in this webinar presented by Mr. Masaru Yamamoto can inspire us and can provide us insight about the industrial world and its driver so that we able to generate idea as well as research topic for student and lecturer. Especially, especially if we can get lesson from him, not only in control engineering motor, but in other field such as medium voltage inverter, harmonic disturbance in the transmission, or about efficiency energy in industrial field, and others, his many, many uh, skill. Uh, we hope in the future it will it will be very useful knowledge for us. We are very grateful to Mr. Masaru Yamamoto for providing time for this very useful webinar with great material. Therefore, on behalf of our institution, Budi Dharma University, I must appreciate your contribution to this fourth international webinar series. And I hope that our relationship will continue in the future. That is uh, all, for, all for you, Mr. Yamamoto-san. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Amin, and then for your speech. Now we begin. Firstly, I would like to have a short biography of uh, Dr. Uh, Mr. Masaru Yamamoto. Well, she began her work up directly after she graduated from school in 75. It's been a long time. And then from 75 to 85, uh, 89, she worked at Drive Control System Design, which is Quality Assurance Commissioning, and also developed the Inverted Drive, LCI, and LCI Static Starter. This is the good one. And also, in, he was working as the, uh, he was doing paper machine, PLC System Design, Cement Plan, and PLC System Design, and Commissioning with storage and product separation system. Well, when in 2009-2014, Toshiba Mitsubishi Electrical Electric Industrial Corporation have the Singapore branch as senior manager of sales and engineering section. This means a long time. And then also, she has a marketing as engineering for large capacity drive for oil and gas industry. And also control system designs, testing service for paper machine system, VVFD soft starter. And the last one, marketing engineering for industrial drive system for mining industry. In 
2014 up to now in the present he's the general manager and director at PT Timai in Indonesia he's established opening company in Indonesia start from October 10, 2014 and also engineer at marketing Timai product general manage for company operation Okay, Mr. Masaru Yamamoto, that's really long biography. That's a good one. This is really inspires us. Okay, now you might do the speech from now, and then I give to you Mr. Masaru Yamamoto. Please welcome from Mr. Yamat, uh, Masaru Yamamoto. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for my uh, introduction. And my name is Yamamoto uh, from uh, PTT Magnesia, Indonesia. Now today, I start to uh, webinar for uh, fundamental, very basic of motor control we uh, use in industrial field. Now I share the, uh, my screen now. I share screen now. Uh, can, you, can you see uh, the, my presentation file? Yes, I can see it. Oh, yes, okay, yes, good. We can. Good, good, good. Sorry, I put wrong date, 16 December 2022. Uh, actually, today is 13 December 2022. Okay, uh, before I start for uh, this webinar, I raise you uh, some uh, very, very uh, simple question of the motors. Here, we have, uh, you may uh, reply in the chat message if you uh, have an answer for my question. This is a quite typical uh, motor circuit, let's say uh, DC motors here. And we apply the DC voltage to the DC circuit. And the DC motor has a magnetic flux field by the field winding like this, making the flux in the motors. Then when I put the current into the motor, then motor start to rotate and also rotating the machine. Now on the machine side, I put mechanical braking onto the machine side. If I increase this braking torque, first question is what happened on the, this motor? First question answer would be, this ampere current to the motor will increase. Uh, my question for you is, why current increase by the loading increase? Okay, uh, please think about this one for the uh, next five minutes. And if you have uh, any answer to anything, you just reply in the chat message. Okay, uh, back to... Uh, uh, back to uh, index. Today, I want to uh, explain, uh, before I do uh, this one, I just uh, briefly explain my company, uh, TMIC. TMIC is, uh, stands for Toshiba Mitsubishi Electrical Industrial Corporation, which is joint venture of Toshiba and Mitsubishi Electric in Japan. Uh, we, Toshiba and Mitsubishi has joined uh, industrial division, especially for a motor drive control. We joined together back in 2003 and to uh, create a company like a Toshiba Mitsubishi uh, Electric Industrial Corporation, TMI, so-called uh, TMI. So this is uh, good. So as we could take a, a good technology from the Mitsubishi, and also a good technology from uh, Toshiba. So both technology can be uh, integrated into one. And then uh, we can start to compete with uh, uh, grow in a global market, such as a famous player like uh, uh, ABB or Siemens or uh, Schneider. Now our uh, drive system share is increasing because of this technical background. Okay, for today, I start with uh, uh, following uh, index. First, from the motor 
sorry. Uh, for, uh, first, number one is a motor control principle. principle. One, uh, motor equivalent circuit and block diagram. And how we control motor for uh, DC and AC control. And number two, second, is barrier speed drive topology. The one starting from a drive topology, the power semiconductors, and comparison in each drive topology. And uh, we introduce some interaction of our drives. And then for the appendix one is one of the, our uh, testing result of uh, introduction of our test development result of 25 megawatt PSD prototype test. The appendix two is motor starting method. Okay, let, uh, let's start for, uh, uh, let's start now. Okay, motor control principle. Okay, now I read the question first. The is why now motor is rotating. Now motor is rotating. By increasing braking torque to the mechanical shaft, this motor current increase is, my question is why? This is a very basic question of understanding of the motors. Anyone could uh, uh, reply on this one or, or I continue for this one? Uh, I saw the some chat. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> anyway, motor is uh, wh what is the motors? We we need to starting from the what is motors? Motor is change electrical energy to rotating is two energy uh, difference extra energy to the mechanical energy. So when the mechanical energy increase, somehow this one need to be increased electrical energy. So both sides are going to be balanced. So why these things going to be balanced is like this. When the motor rotating, motor start to rotating, motor uh, counter voltage so we call a counter EMF according to the strength of the flux and rotating speed in proportion. If you increase the speed, this counter EMF also increase. If you increase the flux, this counter EMF also increase by proportional way. So when we adding loading onto the machine here, what happened? What happened on mechanical side is very simple. When you just image, you have a rotating object in, in the front. You put, you, you use your foot as a braking. What happened on this rotating object is this speed decrease. This speed decrease. Then this counter EMF from the motor also the decrease. But supply voltage is the same. This counter EMF here is uh, decrease. What happened we see is we have a voltage difference between the supply voltage here and counter EMF, which we call a uh, delta B. Motor itself is conscious of inductance and resistance. So this uh, uh, difference voltage applied to inductor and resistance circuit, which would be this circuit. So now I supply the voltage VDC here. Okay. Now the counter EMF voltage is coming out here. Then the, this one, the difference applying into this reactor and register circuit. And then eventually become, this one become an armature current, IA, here. 
then this IA is time flux in the modus. This uh, amateur current times flux become uh, output torque of the modus. Torque here, output torque of the modus. For the machine side, machine side has uh, also have a loading torque. Well, I just put here uh, TF, which is uh, loading torque. So this torque output from the motor minus torque come from the loading become the acceleration torque of this object, which I put JKGM square, which is uh, inertial moment. Uh, this acceleration torque finally become the acceleration torque of whole uh, mechanical object. Then eventually this one become rotating speed. Once rotating speed is come here, what happened on electric side is this counter EMF, which EMF is created according to the strength of the flux. Then the, this counter EMF is feedback to uh, here. So compare, it, compare with this VDC and VDC EMF. So these two are always balancing, always balancing. When I increase the VDC, I could increase the motor speed because this one increase motor current, increase the motor output torque, and then increase acceleration torque, then the speed going up until this voltage, uh, this counter EMF become same as this voltage. This is a, how the motor uh, works. This is a very important block diagram you may uh, consider for the future uh, study. But this is a very, very uh, uh, important concept. What is a motor? Okay. So the next, control of uh, DC and uh, AC motors. We have a two things and uh, sometimes we control uh, DC motors, sometimes we control uh, AC motor by uh, AC inverter drives. However, this motor circuit here, as I shown it as the block diagram, is all any motor is the same, nothing different. Its motor is constant of inductance, resistance, and counter electromotive or electro force mode, uh, electro uh, motive uh, voltage. That's all uh, uh, same for any motors, induction motors, synchronous motors, and DC motors, stepping motors, that any kind of motor is come out like this, uh, eventually comes out like this block diagram. So this is a key when you consider uh, how to control the motors. So please uh, 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 leave this point in your mind when you study the motor drive control. Now uh, I explained how the AC vector control works. DC drive, DC drive is uh, quite simple because magnetic field and armature position is physically fixed, mechanically fixed position. So the flux is here and armature current is always flow 90 degrees in leading place against the flux position. That is to make creating the torque. This torque is this volume of uh, armature current here times flux here. So actually, uh, this rectangular area going to be uh, going to be a uh, uh, sorry, homecoming. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. I, I, I'm busy now. Okay. Uh, however, uh, this model is very simple because uh, this magnetizing uh, direction flux direction and armature direction, torque component direction is physically fixed. So whatever I increase armature current is always 
90 degrees leading side of the flux. This is a DC motors. So uh, this uh, DC motors voltage formula is like this, PDC e equal uh, uh, blah, 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 times uh, IDC times uh, plus uh, counter EMF. This is a formula of DC uh, motor control, DC motors. For the AC motors is not like a DC motors. AC motor, they don't have physical fixed flux position. And we only apply the rotating, uh, uh, rotating uh, frequency, uh, AC power to the motors, which is rotating with supply frequency. Mm -hmm. Supply is always rotating like this. It's always rotating. Is here, I, however, somehow we could convert this uh, rotating uh, vector into a stationary plane so we can use, we can uh, calculate this, uh, all the component as a DC component, which is, we call a, a DQ plane. This is a stationary, stationary plane instead of a rotating plane. So here's how we uh, change uh, uh, this three phase rotating vector into two phase, which is flux and the top component, uh, two phase uh, stationary uh, vector is, one is three phase convert to the single phase. This is the one. But this single phase, still the rotating, still the rotating. So now I change this one, I need to change this one into a stationary plane so I can use this, this value as a DC value. There's no rotating. No rotating means, which can be uh, considered as a DC value. So this one, what we need to know is, one is rotating speed of the machine, rotate or rotating speed of the motors. And for the induction motor case, we need to know Slip frequency, omega r plus omega s. So once we know uh, this uh, speed, we can convert this rotating uh, rotating plane into a stationary plane as a DQ axis. This DQ axis is uh, you may consider just as this is a stationary plane, no rotating. No rotating means this direction and this direction is fixed. So we can easy to use this uh, uh, component as a DC component. For the AC motor inside is the same, actually consists of inductance, resistance, and counter EMF voltage, sorry. This counter EMF is where this counter uh, EMF voltage coming up is on a DQ plane. I put this D, D uh, axis for flux side, flux direction. So the counter EMF is not always 90 degrees leading from the flux. So counter EMF coming out on the Q axis. So considering the voltage formula of uh, this Q axis and the T axis voltage, Q axis have to have this counter EMF voltage, which is EMQ. Pi D axis is no counter EMF, zero. And this one is the first portion is for the IQ, uh, IQ, uh, Q directions, uh, inductance and resistance uh, drop. And this one is uh, D direction, direction D, inductance and resistance drop. And for the AC case, one more thing we need to consider is 
uh, AC component, when I D axis current increase, D axis increase, actual current component is still the DC, uh, sorry, still the AC while we calculating on the DC plane. But this actual component is DC, uh, sorry, AC. So we need to consider uh, uh, inductance drop of created by D axis current, which is uh, here's J omega LID, which is 90 degrees leading and uh, uh, times ID. So uh, this body is going to be at uh, this direction. As the same, for the D axis voltage, this is for the motor impedance voltage related. And then when Q axis current increase, then uh, inductance drop by the Q axis current is creating on this direction. So as for uh, D axis voltage, this one going to be minus J omega L uh, IQ. This is how uh, uh, AC uh, control uh, works. So for the detail, I put a link here. You may refer for uh, this to how we, how they convert three phase vector into the single phase vector uh, and rotating vector uh, convert to uh, a stationary uh, vector or a rotating plane uh, change to stationary plane. So you may refer to uh, this link uh, for your uh, detailed study. Okay, with uh, understanding this one, actually what vector control, whoever supply, whoever design, basically the vector control is consists of like this uh, block diagram. Motor itself, it has speed sensor. Speed sensor sensing the rotating speed, omega r. And then the internal of the drive system is calculating the slip frequency by the uh, D axis current, by the Q axis current. And, sorry, this is uh, by the rotor time constant which is a very important parameter to calculate uh, slip frequency. Then the drive can know, sorry, what is supplying frequency need to be to uh, induction modes. With then the counter EMF is this supplying frequency times flux. Flux is come from a uh, D axis current then they become a uh, uh, VCEMF Q. So now it, for the control, we uh, separate into the two direction. One is D direction, one is Q direction, which is, I, we put a Q axis uh, current reference and D axis current reference, which is for a magnetizing uh, creation and go into the PID controller for the both circuit, and then go into, now uh, this output become Q axis voltage and D axis voltage as, as this formula. Then this one is transformed to rotating vector from the stationary plane to a rotating plane here. This is already a rotating plane. Actually, this omega zero signal is uh, linked to uh, this, uh, uh, this logic. And after that, chain two, single phase, VQ, uh, VD, chain to three phase, U, B, double. Then we can have a three phase uh, power, uh, three phase uh, voltage reference. Then after this, going to be a power conversion process. This, um, until this one is control process. After this one is power conversion process. process. Power conversion can be uh, IGBT, ICGT, side whatever, 
whatever can may convert the AC power output to the induction motors according to this uh, input. Okay, so the power conversion, so uh, you might need to consider power conversion technology and this control vector control philosophy can be separated. So if you have any type of inverter here, inverter a main uh, circuit topology, different topology. However, before the, this one is still the same. Only the inverter uh, uh, topology difference is power conversion uh, difference. Okay. And then this output to the motors as a, as a AC power. Then we detect the motor current, IU, IB, I double. The same, we, same things we do is now three phase to a single phase transformation. And then this one is still rotating, uh, 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 sorry. Then this one is still rotating vector and then transform to DQ plane, which is a stationary plane. Then we use this ID and IQ as DC, not AC. Okay, this is how the vector control works. So the, anyway, basic concept for the uh, DC motor control, uh, AC motor control, synchronous motor control, all same, all same, all turns into, all anyway uh, turned into Or turns into this block diagram, whatever the model. So uh, please, uh, 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 please keep in mind uh, this block diagram before you study, when you study the motor drive control. This is very important uh, uh, things when you're running the motors, uh, motor drive control. Okay, uh, now, let us go to uh, um, uh, variable speed drive topology. The variable speed drive, typical AC drives, is normally conscious of from your power supply and then transformation. This one changes the voltage to adapt uh, inverter voltage. And in battery cell have three sections. One is AC to DC uh, rectification, uh, 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 rectification uh, place, we call a uh, combater section. And then to the DC uh, energy storage uh, portion, which will be conscious of most likely capacitors in decent uh, voltage source drive is energy charged into uh, capacitors. And some uh, old technology, the current source drive uh, using the reactor to energy uh, uh, charging in the DC circuit. And then DC to AC conversion by the switching, uh, by a semiconductor uh, switching. And then rotating AC motors and mechanical loading. This is a uh, typical uh, AC drive uh, configuration. Now we have uh, two basic uh, AC drive uh, topology. One is a current source drive, which is energy storage section is between converter and inverter cost of an inductor, reactants. The other voltage source drive energy storage section between converter and inverter coils of uh, capacitors. In nowadays, say so back in 1980s, this current source drive is the one that major uh, drives maybe 30, 40 years ago, because very difficult to uh, make large capacity voltage source drive 
on that period because there is no good uh, uh, semiconductor for voltage source drive. But for the current source drive, easy to make by uh, Sarisa or uh, SCR, silicon control uh, rectifiers. However, in recently, this current source drive is not in the market at all. Most likely uh, now uh, in the market, we are applying the voltage source drive because voltage source drive is, uh, can make a, uh, can make a, uh, what should I say, active front end with uh, harmonics rest, can operate in a unity power factor, but current source drive cannot be. So there's many advantages on the voltage source drives. So the voltage source drive is, uh, uh, is now most of company, most of the supplier using uh, this technology. The advance in power semiconductors. Semiconductor, power semiconductor is one of the important uh, components to uh, combat, uh, to drive the motors. The common thread is all AC drive electrify AC input to the DC first. All the DC, uh, all the AC drives use switches to create uh, AC from the DC power source. So the anyway the AC drive so uh, AC input need to change to DC, and then DC change to variable frequency of the AC output. And drive topology were created as power electrifiers and switches grew in ratings and capability. As time goes, uh, semiconductor capacity also increased and semiconductor loss also uh, decrease. The high efficiency uh, become high efficiency and so on. Here's a timeline of past semiconductor uh, uh, history. Past semiconductor uh, and drive history. Power semiconductors is at the first being starting from uh, just diode. Diode is, as you know, nothing can control. This one only uh, requires the direction, only can control the direction of the current flow. But just AC is positive and negative is AC. But diode is only can picking up a uh, 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 positive voltage. Negative voltage is blocking. This is the diode, but with the diode, nothing can control. Everything is going to be a natural, uh, natural uh, uh, current flow. Then back in around 1960, uh, Sarisoko, uh, or silicon control expire, so-called SCR was developed. SCR is one good thing is we can control the output voltage from the uh, SCR uh, converter section by changing by changing the firing timing of the SCR. So this one can be controlled turning on turns on timing. Hard diode cannot control anything. So to so the SCR can control the output voltage, which is put. Uh, huge difference. However, SCR itself is not able to turn off by itself. We need to apply the reverse voltage to the SCR to turn off. Then, uh, in around 1980s, uh, GTO, gate Turn off silicon, so called or GTO was developed. The GTO is one good thing is this one can turn on as silicon uh, SCR and also be able to turn off by the, by inputting the negative current to the gate. 
this one and this one is totally different. So this one, the GGO is now become, we call, uh, uh, what should I say? self switch self switched semiconductors. So whenever you want to turn it on, you can turn it on. Whenever you want to control turning off timing, you also can control the, this one. File, SCR is not. However, uh, this GTO is actually, uh, efficiency is very, very low because of the switching, uh, uh, switching speed is very, very slow. So in 1995, uh, we developed a so-called uh, integrated gate counted sidestar, IGCT, which is making the faster switching speed compared to the GTO. Then they continue to uh, 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 submit uh, cybertronical uh, gate uh, computation sidestar, uh, SGCT. Oh, sorry, sorry. So the as time goes, uh, function wise it changes from diode, no control. Then the side is uh, one direction, uh, sorry, uh, uh, on timing can be controlled, but off timing cannot be controlled. And GTO now become off timing also be able to control. Then uh, IGCT, the faster switching and uh, higher uh, efficiency, and now become uh, SGCT, which is very, very high capacity uh, 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 power semiconductor now. This one, this uh, lower part, we call sidester uh, uh, side technology, sidester generation. On top here, there's another direction of power semiconductor uh, development. We call uh, transistor families, starting with a bipolar uh, power transistor, BPT. And in 1990s, we developed uh, IGBT, Insulated gate bipolar transistor. This is still the major uh, uh, power semiconductor uh, as of now. However, IGBT is uh, only for uh, low voltage drives, not for uh, high voltage drives. Then we develop uh, medium voltage uh, IGBT, special uh, IGBT, and then go to uh, injection enhanced uh, gate uh, bipolar transistor, IEGT. This is a new technology. Uh, uh, as of now. So this is a power semiconductor uh, history. As important things is how, why we need to develop the power semiconductor as like this is to increase the efficiency. Uh, sorry, uh, to increase the efficiency. In other words, reduce the power loss come from uh, semiconductors power from semiconductors, and also uh, increase the capacity and the voltage rating so, for, so we can drive high capacity motors. Here's uh, power semiconductor uh, device features. Dial only conducts uh, positive current. SCR. Get current triggers the flow of the positive current. So you can uh, control the output voltage by shifting the gate position or gate timing. But is not able to turn control for a turning off this voltage, this side is there. We need to apply the negative voltage to the, this SCR. However, the GTO, you can turn it off wherever you want to turn off uh, this device. Then uh, IGCT is the same, uh, uh, SCGT also the same, but these two are much faster switching speed than the, this one. Later stage, uh, uh, I can I explain why the faster speed switching is needed for the recent drive technology. Uh, sorry. 
for the transistor, transistor is from the beginning, it can control on and off. But we supply the on gate, transistor is on. But transistor gate is off, transistor is immediately off like this. So very easy to control the output voltage. And insulated gate pipe or transistors, IGBTs, also the same concept, but this one is uh, 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 faster speed, switching speed. And IEGT is, it can have a more uh, high power, uh, uh, high power uh, uh, switching control. So the component areas get power to turn device on and off by external circuit or firing protection or switching speed, switching loss, on state for drop and loss. This is uh, 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 eventually turns into the system efficiency and uh, cooling method. Continuous current ratings for and the reverse blocking voltage. This is uh, uh, anyway the impact for the number of power devices and system reliability. And physical mounting and thermal characteristics this one is going to be a semiconductor packaging and also for a system uh, physical uh, size. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, what is uh, I want to explain? What is the difference from the GCT, IGBT, and I IGT? Okay. For the GCT is to turning on the GCT device. We don't need much current into the gate. Maybe a small current, maybe one ampere is more than enough to turning on the device. However, to turning off, even it is very, very, very short time, like a microsecond order, we still need to put several thousand ampere current into the gate for the April switching, for the April switching. This is one of the disadvantages for a uh, uh, GCT uh, device because to inject uh, several thousand ampere into the device is we need to make a very special uh, gate circuit for uh, switching of this device. File uh, IGBT, IGT is not is just need to apply the potential voltage. Positive voltage for the turning on and negative voltage for the turning on. No need to put such high current to turning on. This is a major difference between the GCT device and IGBT or IEGT uh, device. So this is uh, uh, one of the the sample of the old design uh, GCT gate current silicis uh, area design is you see the very very uh, this is a GCT sorry GCT is here and a very complicated gate gate driver is inside of this one even the newest uh, uh, GCT uh, so called uh, uh, S SCGT which is uh, physically uh, GCT circuit is something like this. This is just GCT itself. And this one is gate drive control for uh, this device. So actually this one is mounted onto uh, this place. And then you will see uh, there's a black pieces surrounding to, the, to the, this device. This is a power MOS FAT. Actually for this GCT device, we need to put about 6,000 ampere for a turning off this device. So in putting the 6,000 ampere with the balancing into the gate circuit is very difficult actually. So that's why we designed like this. So we allocate about 30, 40 pieces of uh, power MOS FET surrounding to the gate. 
and then all the, the such uh, gate turning of power goes through uh, this MOS uh, FET. So we can control, we can inject uh, very high current in very, very short time. Within uh, less than the one microsecond, we input, uh, in, inject about 6,000 ampere to turn it off this device. This is a GCT uh, technology. The GCT could be, uh, actually, GCT can be uh, uh, easy to make high capacity device. But disadvantages is this point. It need very, very high, uh, uh, high uh, uh, gate current to turn it off, which you would not be believe, 6,000 ampere. 6,000 ampere. Even uh, it is very, very short time period. So the gate drive circuit become very, very complicated. However, uh, voltage device, uh, voltage uh, uh, IGBT, uh, even uh, MV IGBTs, gate driver become very, very simple because we just need to change the potential of the gate. There is no uh, such big current flow. Maybe there's some 0 0.5 ampere flow into the gate. Then uh, IEGTs, uh, latest generation of voltage switching device, which is high capacity, 4,500 volt and 4,000 ampere rating. And press pack uh, design. And very, very uh, low uh, core drop than the IGBT. This one is uh, eventually effect to uh, uh, semiconductor power loss. There is uh, IGT, uh, uh, one sample uh, IGT. You see the gate drive circuit is much smaller and simple compared to uh, SGT. Because this one only need to change the potential of the voltage. Uh, this one is uh, gate circuit summary gate power to turn device on and off, external circuitry or which will be firing and protection. So this is going to be number of control device and uh, system uh, reliability impact. The control switch power device has come a long way. Fewer, uh, look, we look for a few and smaller parts. Uh, also the reliability need to be improved. Fewer parts, less parts, less number of parts used in the gate circuit is strictly impact to the quality of the gate drive circuit. Because of the number of parts used in the circuit is less. Then uh, next, we, uh, try, we I'm going to explain the power uh, device losses which has come from switching speed and switching loss and on state uh, forward drop losses. These two, uh, actually uh, we call a switching loss and on loss is a semiconductor switching device loss of the total. So losses during turn on and turn off and losses during conduction. There are two kind of uh, semiconductor uh, power loss. Power device losses is consists of like this. Now here's uh, semiconductors, uh, current into the semiconductors like this. And from here to here is uh, switching speed for our uh, own state. From here to here is switching time from uh, on state to uh, off state. What happened during the on state and off state is in the on state here, actually the voltage across the semiconductor is 
still there. And then this voltage going down as current increase. So this point, this is voltage is there, current is there. So this times this one become loss. In here, off state, device is off state. Voltage is, let's say, I will say this is 100%, for example. Current is 0%. 0% times 100% is still zero. So this portion, semiconductor loss is zero. However, once you start to on, make on state, as current increase to the setting or the whatever the value, actually voltage across uh, semiconductor become uh, uh, zero, most likely zero like this. Not going to be a zero, but let's say this is going to be zero. However, during this period, current is there, voltage is there, this voltage times ampere become power loss. Is the same thing happen on device off, turning off. When turning off, current going down to actual current going down to zero. But this one going down to zero, then voltage start to increase like this during this switching period. So this is also become the switch loss. Another loss is on state loss. While uh, uh, semiconductor is on state here, complete on, actually uh, voltage across uh, semiconductor cannot be at zero. Someone be becomes 0 0.5 volts, someone becomes 0 0.3, someone becomes 0 0.5, 0 0.6, depends on the device. So this one, voltage is still remain. So this voltage times this current become the, also the on loss or the power loss. So total three loss is there. On time loss, uh, sorry, switching on loss, switching off loss, and on time loss. So there are the three losses. So if you are the uh, semiconductor designer, what do you want to uh, increase efficiency or reduce the uh, reduce, uh, reduce power loss is I would make faster switching on the on state here. Current increase very, uh, sorry. Try to increase current sharply like this. And offset also making it faster uh, switching. So this period becomes shorter and then the semiconductor uh, loss, uh, switching loss become less. So for example, this one can switch in uh, halfway of this one, your semiconductor loss becomes 50% also. This is the way how the uh, those uh, power semiconductor be uh, developed from the past. So now in GTO uh, period, in back in 1990s, GTO drive uh, uh, efficiency is most likely uh, 90% or 90%, very, very low efficiency. Because of this switching loss, switching speed is very, very slow. So for the switching loss is very high. That's why the GTO drive could not uh, make a good uh, efficiency drives. That period, maybe a 91, 92% is the maximum. In nowadays, this switching speed compared to uh, uh, GTO, this switching speed become maybe 100 times faster than the uh, GTO. So the normal drive, uh, efficiency become 97% uh, or 98%, somewhere around that, which is now uh, as uh, power semiconductor uh, develop, also such switching loss, uh, on loss also be uh, reduced. So in recent uh, drives, efficiency is about 97% instead of 92%. Uh, next topic is comparing uh, drives with all topologies. 
two, there is a two major topology is uh, inverter drives. One is current source drives, which will be in nowadays LCI load computated inverters and GTO uh, SCGT current source, sorry, induction motor drive. This is what we call a uh, current source uh, drives. The other one is uh, so-called uh, voltage source drives, which is major uh, uh, VFD in nowadays, which would be low voltage IGBT uh, or, or much level uh, PWM drives, or MB, medium voltage IGCT PWM drives, and medium voltage IGBT PWM, medium voltage IGT uh, PWA. This is uh, just an example of uh, LCI, load commutator inverters, is using the side for for uh, inverter section and using side for the converter section. The current source drive is, uh, is actually this input is controlling the output voltage of the DC bus according to this synchronous motor speed. So as the synchronous motor speed is low, actually this DC bus voltage is also very, very low. Actually, let's say proportional to uh, synchronous motor speed. So when speed is low, let's say zero, Speed zero, for example. DC voltage is zero. But actual current flow is there to the synchronous motors to create a uh, torque from the synchronous motors. Uh, as a result, what happened on this situation? Current source, this current flow, DC current flow, and this AC current flow is, a, is same. Only the motor difference is this one is uh, 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 DC current times uh, some coefficient square roots two by three. Current is just more less, but this current is still proportional to the DC current. Let's say 100% current is there, but the motor speed is zero. What happened here is input side power factor is zero because only current flow, but no DC voltage. So this one, this configuration, we need to con consider the less power factor operation on the power supply side, which is one of the uh, big disadvantages of this current source drives uh, uh, or the LCI. Here's LCI. Yes, uh, as this one showing the input logo power factors. Okay. The advantages of this one is number of using the path is less as compared to uh, voltage source drive because just the simple configuration of the simple sizes six phase and uh, uh, three phase side cell expression and three phase uh, side cell inverse section, uh, very easy to make it. And the regeneration can be done with this configuration. This one can control power flow on this direction or also can uh, control power flow from the uh, 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 motor side back to the back to the uh, power supply line. So no any special uh, circuit is required. However, <laughs> As I explained, this one, this configuration is power factor is very, very low compared to uh, uh, voltage source drive. Voltage source drive power factor can be run uh, most likely 1.0 unity power factor, regardless what is the speed of the uh, motors. Okay. The current source GTO uh, SCT induction motor drive, which is same, as current source. So the, the input current control is the same, can be used, side or, or GCT. 
and output is uh, to drive the induction motors, but need to apply self-switching device like a GTO or, or GCT. Maybe you can uh, uh, study in later stage what 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 is LCI? Uh, what is the difference for the LCI and this? Uh, what should I say? Induction motor drive, current source induction motor drive is this LCI need to apply the synchronous motors. Cannot apply. Cannot apply the induction motors because this LCI using the side -ister. This one need a self. Uh, this one, this device cannot be controlled the off timing by the gate. Need reverse voltage applying to uh, 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 this side is the, So with this configuration, uh, maybe I'll skip today for why need uh, 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 this kind of operation, but this synchronous motor always need to operate in leading power factor. Cannot be operating lagging power factor. Otherwise, this Asia is not able to turn off. This is a, the this is the one of the disadvantages also. The induction motor using a self switching device. So this one can be turning off by itself, even we running the uh, uh, sorry lagging power factors or this motors. Induction motors already running with lagging power factor. First, we need to create magnetized flux in the motor from the same AC power supply. So this one going to be, cannot be, induction motor is not able to run in leading power factors. Always need to be run in lagging power factors. That's why I need to apply self-switching device. Okay. Uh, this one become uh, some comparison of the isolation reactor versus uh, isolation transformer in uh, any uh, device. Uh, isolation transform is very good to isolate, sorry, isolate from the power supply side. So even the uh, inverter and motor, uh, 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 this VFD and uh, motor circuit creating anything is nothing impact to utility side. Uh, actually, when you do the switching, when you do the switching wherever, actually each point potential will be changes against grounding. Say so this, this point potential, when you switch on against the, the grounding, this voltage may be uh, going up. If switching on, maybe going down. So this one is applying between the uh, system and the grounding circuit. And between the grounding and uh, circuit, there is uh, some uh, capacitance, we call uh, stray capacitors. Then the such voltage is applied some uh, leak current start to flow into the ground. If this grounding circuit is not isolated, like this one, this grounding current going back to the utility side and may causing uh, misdetection of uh, grounding detection of something, okay? So this is uh, uh, one of the difference. Now the, the, I try to expand the uh, PWM waveform, which is uh, most of the inverter using uh, this technology in now. PWM is pulse with modulation. From the constant DC voltage, this is actually our target output voltage. So we switching the semicons, this is we call a pulse with modulation. With the result, uh, how the inverter works like this. Here's a rectifying section, diode bridge section, convert to the DC. The DC waveform is like this. 
And then here's this one feeding power to the motors with like this voltage, we call a PWM voltage, which is equivalent voltage of this uh, AC component. Okay. Now, uh, 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 I try to explain the two level and how to make a, a much of it. This one, the single level uh, PWM motor drives. In this one, only can have a positive voltage and negative voltage. So what I can output here is positive voltage on the A, phase A. For B is connected to the negative. So what I can see between A and B is positive voltage here. However, if you turn it on this device and this device, B phase voltage become positive. And then uh, A phase become negative, which is this voltage. So this is how a uh, uh, single uh, 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 two level uh, voltage source inverters creating the output voltage as AC. So now medium voltage drives is consist of this single uh, inverter unit connection in series to uh, be like this. One output is just like this. Very simple, uh, two phase, uh, uh, single phase output voltage. Combined with three voltage, with a phase shifting, one phase output become this three level, one, two, three level. Then phase to phase become three to three, plus zero become one, two, three, four, five, six, seven levels. This is how we creating a medium voltage. So if you need more voltage, just need to increase number of uh, inverter cell connection in series. Say, for example, this one for uh, three KB, for example, if you want a six KB, you need to add another three into the U phase circuit and we also. If 10 kV, you need to add another seven cell unit in series to the, this one. So this is how we uh, uh, create a high voltage uh, VFT from uh, uh, this simple uh, inverters. Uh, how we change two level, three level, and five level. Two, sorry. only can output plus and minus. The three variable is actually each phase can have a two uh, DC bus. One is positive bus and one is negative bus. Each, bar, each phase can output positive voltage and negative voltage. Then combine with a phase-to-phase -phase voltage become the three level voltage as like this one. So this is, uh, sorry, like this one. So to feed a more uh, high power, uh, uh, high power uh, and high voltage to the motors. And then next one is can turn into the five level inverters. Each three level inverters connect in the star configuration like this in the star connection and then this output become the five level. In our TMAC drive, with this configuration, with a GCT, uh, SGCT technology, we could go up to uh, 120 megabA, which is quite big. Here's uh, NPC topology, neutral point from uh, uh, topology. Neutral point is here. This is neutral. And this is positive, and this is negative. Neutral point clamp is either way, this point and this point is clamped by the diode to the neutral, is here. So what happened this output is when you turning uh, uh, this one, Q1 and Q2 device is on, then output become positive voltage. If you're turning on QC and Q4 is output voltage become a negative voltage. 
if you turning on this Q2 and Q3, either way, this one going to be connected to the this way, or if possible, going to be connected to this way. So uh, this one is uh, uh, fixed, uh, same potential as zero B. So with uh, this configuration, you can output plus E, zero B, and minus E. We call a uh, three level uh, topology or, or NPC topology. So this is a uh, three level inverters we have. Is uh, this one three level uh, NPC converter section? This is for the inverter section. Converter section controlling the converter side and inverter section is controlling the uh, inverter side. Then the output voltage become like this. Then uh, uh, this three level portion, using the, this three level portion, but connected in uh, star, uh, connect, star connection like this for the each, uh, each uh, for the each phase. Then the, this output become the five level uh, output. So this is how we uh, increase the number of steps of the voltage output. This is uh, how we uh, output, how we can output the five level with uh, like this. Maybe you can uh, study uh, later by detail, but simply say each phase E1 plus uh, this one. So uh, when you output this one and this one is to output to E potential. When only this one and then this one shifting, uh, connecting to the neutral, then this one become one E output. When they both are in connected into the neutral, then zero. And negative is same, minus one E and minus two E. And then as a result, each phase output become like this, one, two, three level. However, combined with another phase, phase to phase voltage become the five level up. So uh, until now is uh, just a team, uh, sorry, just a topology of the uh, uh, semiconductors and drives. And now I just simply introduce our drive system. Much level body source PW inverters uh, of TMIC, we call a TM drive MVG2 is we have a uh, uh, 3 kb and 6 kb and 10 kb and 11 kbs. As I explained in earlier, number of cells connected in series, this output voltage is, depends on number of uh, inverter cell unit connected in series. So 3 kb, seven level drives is for three unit, uh, three unit in series, 6.6 .6 kb, five unit in series and 10 can be uh, eight unit in series and uh, 11 KB, maybe nine unit in series for the, to increase output voltage. This is actual uh, uh, output voltage waveform. This is a, uh, the, this green one is voltage waveform and, and for uh, 3 kb and 6.6 .6 kb uh, here. As the number of step uh, increase, of course, uh, voltage become more gentle against uh, uh, more gentle, uh, more close to uh, become more closer to the sine wave. This is a TM uh, drive uh, MVE2. The difference uh, of uh, MVG2 and MVE2 is inverter, uh, this configuration. This MVE2 using the uh, single phase uh, uh, NPC converter section and single phase uh, NPC uh, output. Single phase uh, output like this. 
So this one, what is the difference is phi uh, MBG is not able to control region level current from the motor power, power back to the power supply. This one can regenerating by this active front end technology. This is a, a major difference between this MBE2 and MBG2. And this next one is a TM drive uh, 7E2, IGT3 level uh, VSD, various speed drives. This one is a three level uh, uh, NPC, IGT converter section on the converter side. And this is for uh, inverter side. And then, let's see. For uh, three level up. This one is most likely used for uh, steel rolling mill uh, drives, which is about 10 megawatt cross motors with a very, very neat, uh, very, very fast response. And this one, the TM72 uh, uh, can be a parallel configuration. This is a single, uh, single uh, uh, unit connection. Two in parallel and two in parallel time plus two in parallel uh, connecting to the uh, one single motors. So can be a four in parallel. So we can go up to a maximum 36 megabyte with uh, this configuration. TM drive XL R80 uh, use a symmetrical uh, current gate transistor, a three level VSD. Its output is just simple three uh, level with a diode rectification. This one we can go up to uh, 30 uh, megabytes. And uh, TM drive XL55, a uh, five level VSD, we can go up to, uh, I think, 7.16 megabytes. 16 megabyte. And then for uh, XL75, IGT five level uh, VSD, this one we can go up to uh, 92 megabyte, uh, four unit in parallel. The single unit can go up to 23 megabyte. And this is a uh, SGCT uh, five level VSD. We can go up to a 30 megabyte with a single unit and total uh, 120 megabyte uh, for uh, four, uh, four unit in parallel. Okay. That is uh, just a simple expansion for uh, TMIC drive, especially for uh, medium voltage uh, drives. Now I just briefly explain, uh, introduce our uh, 25 megawatt, our VSD uh, prototype test. You might you might interest what kind of test need to be done at, uh, at the manufacturer for uh, development. Uh, actually, we develop uh, this XL85 30 megabyte and driving this 20 megawatt, 20 megawatt motors. But at the factory, we don't have a loading. So we need to make a loading, applying the synchronous generators, connected to a three level uh, IEGT drive. So this one is, we call a power run back testing system, which is we supply the power to the motor driving unit here and then the, this one controlling the motors. And then this one connect to the generators. Generator power back to the power sub, original power supply, supply line using the, this drive. So this is for regenerating. This is for uh, motoring for the, this synchronous motors. So with this configuration, even we import 20 megawatts, Actually, actual uh, power we need to apply to the this line is very, very small because we only need to supply the power loss of this portion and the single motor loss and the single generator loss and for the this one. So no, no need to get the 20 megawatt power supply from here. Only maybe 1,000 kV enough 
to driving a whole uh, package. Because power we input to the motors, power output from generator back to supply line is the same, except power loss in the circuit. This is we call a uh, run back testing. Sorry, motor size is tw not 20, 25 mega. Sorry. Excuse me, sir. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, the time is up. Okay. Okay, would you like, yeah, we can stop here. And then okay. we might ask the audience to ask question to you. Is that okay? Okay, okay, okay. All right. Uh, before that, I'm going to do the summary. This bit quiet, good, and uh, my summary, the one that you have given us that T Mike has already knew the motor control sustainably and using the technology. I think for the for the I think for this kind of situation and then this kind of digital era. Also, motor control include manual or automatics means starting or stopping the motor, selecting forward and reverse rotation, selecting regulation, eliminating torque, torque and protecting against the overhead uh, electrical. Okay, uh, I'm going to give you the question that the people ask. Anybody want to ask before that? Um, if, because I will uh, chat, I, pull, I will put it in the chat. Okay, hang on. Okay. Okay. First, there is a question. Yeah, what do you think about BLCD motor? Is the, is it the same scam? Yeah, explain. Okay, this is question for number one. Okay, hang on. Let's see. Here, sir, you might see the first question. What do you think about BLCD motor? Is it the same scam to you, to your explanation just now? Uh, sorry, could, could I know what is a BLTC motor? Okay, let me ask the audience yeah. about that. Brassless DC motor. Uh, just DC motor. Brass. Oh, brassless DC. Yeah, brassless DC motor. Brushless DC is uh, there's a many type of brushless DC. It's like uh, like a uh, uh, stepping motor is part of brushless DCs, and sixth motor is brushless DC. The same. Uh, the if you're talking about the DC motors is no. For the future, no DC motor at all. But brushless DC could be a uh, synchronous motors could be a stepping motors, uh, which is still uh, uh, be uh, in the market, especially for uh, synchronous motors. Okay. For the second question, what is the relationship among cost fee of the uh, input line? Okay. This yeah. one is uh, you, you, you already need to consider at the DC, pass, uh, DC, DC circuit power uh, conversion. DC circuit is very easy to calculate the power. Power is DC voltage times DC current, which is if you have a DC voltage 100, if you have a 100 uh, ampere on the DC circuit, the power is one times 100, which is very easy. However, the LCI, when the motor is not spinning, DC voltage is zero, but only the current flow. That's why the DC power is zero while current flow is there. That's why power factor is very low at low speed. As uh, motor speed increase, DC voltage also increase in proportional to the motor speed. So 
or such kind of uh, system like a DC drive, uh, LCI, is actually power factor is most likely proportional to uh, motor rotating speed. The third does have two questions. Mm. What are the challenges of motor coil control in the industry in the future toward concept of being a development? And the second question is, uh, which part of control motor has great opportunity to be developed in the future? Um, actually, for the control wise is uh, most likely uh, saturated for a major control portion of the motor uh, drive control. But there is there will be a, some a minor uh, uh, minor additional control such as uh, uh, what should I say motor vibration uh, dynamic uh, reducing control but such kind of things going to be uh, continued. Uh, the major point is for the motor drive control. The important thing is to look look for high efficiency system, including the motors and drives. As you know, the, in the world, we, are, we uh, anyone now looking for uh, SDG, sustainable development goal direction, uh, which is uh, everything need to tend high efficiency products. In nowadays, modern drive uh, efficiency, in total efficiency, a modern drive, still 94% or 93% in total. So if we could increase this by 2% or 3%, uh, say for example, 10 megawatt motor drive system, 2% is already 200 kilowatt per hour, 200 kilowatt. So the 200 kilowatt loss for uh, maybe concern for one year, the energy loss is quite huge. So this one can reduce a uh, customer uh, energy cost, and also uh, reducing the energy consumption from the electric power supply line, which is, I think, uh, uh, everyone look for uh, this direction. The fourth is, what are the advantages of water control in TMI compared to other competitors? Uh, this one going to be uh, a little bit uh, need to be going to be a little bit detailed, but we have a very good uh, uh, motor. What should I say? Machine system vibration damping control. We call uh, simulate, simulated uh, simulator uh, following control, which is detecting the motor uh, shaft of vibration by the sensors, and immediately compensate to uh, reduce or absorb uh, such directions. That is one of uh, our uh, advantages. And I believe our drive in the recent drive is high, higher efficiency than the others. And the next is about semiconductor energy mm. is currently hot topic. In the world, in the world, how can T Mike overcome obstacles arising from this situation? Uh, actually, semiconductor technology is—I'm not sure the hot on the power semiconductor side or not. The power semiconductor side is is only tend to look for a high capacity device with fast switching device, fast switching. Uh, sorry, sorry, fast switching device with uh, uh, high efficiency, low loss. That is power semiconductor uh, uh, direction. Okay, right. And then the six, this is a uh, collaboration in various fields mm. of science can create an innovation in motor control technology. Mm. In the future, as an engineering, Mm. Uh, what kind of knowledge might be able to play a significant role in the development of motor control technology? Mm. Good question. It's very challenging. <laughs> very challenging question. <laughs> yeah. A good question, actually. Is uh, 
Um, okay, now uh, uh, in our case, we are looking for uh, some, uh, uh, what should I say? Uh, machine learning for a uh, fault detection uh, system for the motors and drives. Say like uh, we uh, send all the data, the motor current, DC, DC voltage, DC current, all that parameters, all that running data sent to uh, our uh, servers and the server to uh, uh, those server has a machine learning system to uh, automatically detecting, okay, when a customer need to uh, maintain the disk drive or disk motors, where could be the fault, where could be a, a maintenance point, that things automatically comes up. This is uh, actually not directly the motor control related, but combination with such uh, uh, machine learning uh, system. I think in the future, combined with machine learning and drive control going to be realistic. Okay. This is the last question from the students. We know that our government is pushing toward electric vehicles. Mm. That's a good one. Is there any contribution from TMIC to promote the use of electric vehicles? Uh, for this one, I, we... No, I'm not sure for this one. This uh, one is actually using uh, permanent magnetic motors and uh, different technology. Oh, as, different. As yeah. what we are, we are tending for. Mm. We are tending for uh, most likely large capacity drives. Uh, but for uh, Biko, Biko motor, driving motor, maybe uh, 200 horsepower to 300 horsepower using, uh, using the permanent magnetic motors to make a small uh, size compact size. Okay. So this is uh, maybe uh, TMAG is not. Okay. All right. We, then. Have, we have technology, but no, not tend to this one. Okay. Thank you so much, sir, about this one. Yeah. Now you might, uh, we may take a picture of this. We have, we have to take a picture for sure. this one. Okay. You might uh, take off your share, please. Okay. <laughs> uh, Bapak Ibu. Ladies and gentlemen, students, please show off your face. We are going to make a picture of you. Okay, uh, sharing is, please, uh, screen share, please take out your, uh, the sharing, sir, please. Take out the sharing, please. So, in the, okay. Okay, ma'am, Harrison, maybe I will take a lead from here. Okay. Okay. Okay, and, guys. Uh, please take a picture. Okay. I'll count into three. One, two, three. Okay. Wait a moment. Uh, for next. Okay, next page. On three. One, two, three. Next page. One, two, three. Okay, uh, I think that's all. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Sir Fad, about this. Um, all of the audience are uh, 128 audience join this uh, webinar. Thank you so much, Doctor uh, Sir Yamamoto. It's been great. We have ha we are happy to have you here. I hope next time you might join us again. Okay, uh, guys. Uh, Thank you so much for the audience to come to our webinar. Thank you very much. Um, I'm about to close this one. Thank you so much and goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, no uh, more. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Joy everybody, Ayan. please uh, hear the uh, link of certification. And then we will send you the certification by email. Okay? Yes, A week uh, after this. Marita? Yes, Ma'am Marita. Uh, well, I will, let you, I will let everybody know that we already sent some message on the chat column that yes. the, the attending list needs to be filled by all the participants for the audience. So for all the audience have to know that it will take about one week at the latest for the certificate to be delivered. Okay. So I hope you get your question. Uh, I will prepare everything. Uh, we will prepare everything. So uh, hopefully everything's getting smooth. Thank you, Ma'am Harita. You can take it yeah, from here. Thank you. Someone is uh, asking for about the material, the material, the slides. Later on, you okay. might ask. Okay. okay, about the material, uh, at first, uh, I will ask the Mr. Yamamoto confirmation about it. Uh, maybe some traditional issue uh, will be concerned by him. So okay. once we get the information from Mr. Yamamoto, once we get the confirmation from Mr. Yamamoto, maybe uh, I will let everybody know that the material will be shared. But for sure, maybe all the audience, all the participants, have a good uh, contact. Uh, we'll keep a close contact with the information number. Yeah. Uh, the information number will let you know once the material or the everything uh, we have uh, learned from this webinar has been, uh, you know, gr uh, great to be, to be shared. Uh, yeah, uh, Mr. Yamamoto has given us the permission to be shared. I think that's all, Mr. Min, Ma'am Harita. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Fajar, about this one. Thank you so much for everybody who's coming to the, uh, this webinar. And then I hope we are going to see you each again in another webinar. Thank you. Thank Good you. afternoon. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Dr. Amin. Thank you. Mr. Yamamoto, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Dr. Yamamoto. Thank you.